But I think like at the end of it, like you really have to just put one foot in front of the other. Like when I was, when I went and filed for this custody case, I had no idea. I did not even expect that I was going to get my daughter's custody back because I read all the laws and everything. And, and the laws clearly were like against me at that point. And I, and I knew that. And I still went in there because I was like, I have nothing else to lose and I'm going to put in my full effort into it. I think you need to have grit in, in situations like this and, 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 you know, find the resources, find the people that are there that will help you. The most important thing that helped me the most in this situation was the fact that I was financially stable enough to go back to Pakistan and have this, you know, this legal battle and have it go as long as I, as it did and have the resources to get the guards to go to court and stuff. And a lot of people don't have that. But if you are in a situation where you need to get out and you have enough time, figure out a way to either save up money or figure out a way where you can get in touch with people that can help you with that kind of situation or find people that will help you without charging you a fee or something. Uh, you know, like every situation is unique, but in, in my situation, I feel like the, the most important thing that I did was just just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Even even though you don't see light at the end of the tunnel, just keep going, you know. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash SJME.